So, welcome back mga kadiin. Again, we will solve another differential equation. But this time, we will first introduce another method in solving equation of order 1, which is called exact differential equation. So, equation of order 1, as the previous topic natin, that is m as a function of x, y, dx plus n as a function of x, y, dy is equivalent to 0. So, in solving exact differential equation, kailangan malaman muna natin kung siya ba ay exact. So, paano natin malalaman if the equation is an exact differential equation? So, we perform a test. This is a test for exactness. So, for testing for exactness, kailangan may idea tayo ng partial derivative. And in partial derivative, we need to uh, check if our function of m or the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equivalent to partial derivative of n with respect to our x. And the solution, so we will only discuss the short method. So, meron siyang long method, pero dito tayo magpo-focus. So, we need to integrate or the summation of the integral of direct integrable plus integral of the non-direct integrable must be equivalent to zero. So, paano natin malaman kung yung ating equation is direct in integrable at paano natin malalaman siya ay non-direct integrable, illustrate natin siya sa ating example number 1. So, for our example number 1, so we have solve the equation 3x xy minus 2 dx plus x cubed plus 2y dy is equivalent to 1. So, simplify muna natin yung ating equation. Distribute natin yung 3x. So, ang higit siyang 3x squared y minus 6x dx plus x cubed plus 2y dy is equivalent to 0. So, sabi natin, before we proceed, if sa solution na exact, kailangan makita natin muna if the equation is exact. So, in solving, if that's exact, we need to perform the test for exactness. So, partial derivative of m with respect to y. So, partial derivative of m with respect to y. So, m natin ay ito and this is our n. So, with respect to y, that is 3x squared with respect to y. So, yung sabi nga natin, if that's partial derivative, we treat other variable as constant. So, in this case, yung ibang variable x squared must be constant. Kung constant ito, we have 3x squared as constant. Derivative by y, or if we differentiate y, that is 1. So, that's, that is 3x squared. If we differentiate 6x, this is constant. And what, at what is the derivative of constant? That is 0. So, the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 3x squared. Now, we'll differentiate, or we get the partial derivative of n with respect to x naman. In this case, the derivative of x cubed is simply 3x squared. And the derivative of 2y, since with respect to x tayo, sabi natin yung ibang variable ay magiging constant. So, yung y natin is magiging constant. So, constant times constant is constant. And we know that the derivative of a constant is 0. So, from our test for exactness, makapasin natin na yung ating my is equivalent to nx. Therefore, our equation is hashtag exact. So, kung exact siya, pwede natin gamitin yung ating solution, which is summation of direct integrable plus integral of non-direct integrable. So, paano natin malalaman kung alin dito ang direct integrable at alin dyan yung non-direct integrable? So, check natin equation. So, kung check natin, 3x squared y dx, yun muna yung unang term, siya ba direct integrable or non-direct integrable? So, kung mapansin natin, meron kasi siyang ibang variable na y. Yung ating derivative is dx. So, pupunta siya o makapasama siya dun sa non-direct integrable. Next term is negative 6x. Negative 6x dx. So, yan ba? Pwede natin integrate. Di ba? Pwede natin siya integrate agad. So, pupunta siya sa direct integrable. 
Sabi natin, doon sa ating equation, summation. So, yung direct equation is, o direct integrable is summation. So, kung summation, tingin tayo sa kabila. O. Oh, meron pa ba doon na direct integrable? Or, para hindi tayo malito, sundan muna natin yung next term, which is x cubed dy. Is x cubed dy direct integrable? Siyempre, hindi. Kasi dy to tapos x ito. So, sa NDI, mapapunta siya. Kung mapapansin nyo, nilagay ko is semicolon. So, x cubed dy. Then, meron pa tayo isang term which is 2y dy. Saan siya mapapapunta naman? So, si 2y dy is since y to and y din ito, walang ibang variable na kasama. So, mapapapunta siya is direct integrable. So, plus 2y dy. In our solution, that is integral of di or direct integrable that is negative 6x dx plus 2y dy plus pipili ka lang ngayon dito. Alin man sa dalawa. Mamaya, papakita natin paano kung ito ang pinili ko. Basta pipili ka lang dyan, alin man sa dalawa. Let's try first the 3x squared y dx. So, plus 3x squared y dx. So, negative 6x dx, pag kinuha natin integral yan, that is simply power formula, that is negative 6x squared over 2 plus 2y squared over 2 plus this time, yung x na yun, o yung ating integral is naka dx. So, yung y natin dito ay magiging constant. Again, nangyayari lang ito pag yung ating problem is exact. So, kung hindi siya exact, hindi natin pwedeng gawin yung ating ganyang ginagawa. So, yung y pwede mong ilabas kasi para magiging constant lang siya. Tapos, ito magiging na lang siyang integral ng 3x squared dx is equivalent to 0. So, continue. That's negative 3x squared plus y squared plus y times 3x cubed over 3 is equivalent to c. So, cancel out yung 3. So, that is simply negative 3x squared plus y squared plus x cubed y is equivalent to c. Or, kung ayaw nyo negative yung nga sa unahan, pwede ilagay nyo sa unahan itong x cubed y minus 3x squared plus y squared is equivalent to c. Sabi natin kanina, paano kung x cubed dy ang ginamit? So, anong mangyayari? So, kung x cubed y dy ang ginamit natin, so, lagay natin same pa rin. So, syempre, yung makukuha natin same pa rin dito. That's integral of negative 6x dx plus 2y dy plus this time, sa halip na 3x squared y dx, ang gagamitin natin na itong isang term. So, integral na x cubed dy is equivalent to 0. At ito naman, nakuha na natin, dito na lang tayo mag-focus. Nakuha na naman natin itong sagot na to. That's negative 3x squared plus y squared. So, dito lang tayo mag-focus. So, what's the integral of x cubed dy? This time, ang naka-integrate sa atin is yung dy. So, yung x natin ay magiging constant. So, labas lang natin yan. Integral ng dy is equivalent to 0. Again, nangyayari lang ito if our equation is exact differential equation. So, continue tayo. It's negative 3x squared plus y squared plus x cubed integral ng dy is y equivalent to c. Again, gusto mong ilagay sa unahan. That's x cubed y minus 3x squared plus y squared is equivalent to c. And again, Nakuha rin naman natin yung same answer 
kung ang gagamitin natin NDI ay x cube dy. So, sa lahat ng method, ito yung pinakamadali. Ang mahirap lang sa kanya ay yung pagtetest ng exactness. So, thank you and see you po in the next problem.